Struggling or repeating a year in med school or failing a board exam as a physician is way more common than most people realize, but when it happens, it is a crisis. It's just not something people talk about, much less something people know how to effectively address. That's where StatMed Learning comes in. My name is Ryan Orwig. I'm a reading and learning specialist, and I created StatMed Learning in 2012 when I realized that no one was effectively teaching smart, motivated medical students and physicians how to study, how to maximize their time, or how to show what they know on medical board exams. It wasn't intentional. It was just kind of this haphazard thing of like, all right, I've got some time on Saturday morning. I'm going to read for two hours. And then you get to the end of two hours and you're like, well, did I, did I read enough? Did I do anything? So there was an illusion of studying. We teach specific sets of tools that unlock our students' ability to survive and thrive in med school and on boards. We help two main groups. Group one is classroom-based medical students who are rising, entering, or repeating. This can include those in related fields like veterinarians, PharmDs, PAs, among others. And group two is physicians, med students, and those in related fields who have issues passing their board exams, ranging from the USMLE and Comlex and NAVLE to any and all specialty board exams, like emergency medicine, PEDS, IM, anesthesia, general surgery, to anything and everything in between. So yeah, it's no secret that medical school and boards are hard, right? And they should be. But somehow, people are just expected to just innately know how to receive and organize and encode and retrieve and apply the vast amounts of information required of med students and physicians without ever being taught the skills to do so. And, and I, I think that's wrong. It's a huge cultural failing. What's really happening is that med school and boards are simply not designed for all learners equally. I don't mean stuff like learning styles or any of that mumbo jumbo. Our philosophy is to take these highly motivated learners and equip them, often for the first time, with tools. They can plug into any curricular design from traditional first year med student firehose lectures to flipped classrooms to problem based learning models, all the way to any independent board study. And even if you've worked with other learning specialists, I suspect what we're doing is dramatically different than anything you've experienced with them. When I heard you lecturing about the concepts, I was like, why has nobody ever told yeah. me this before? It, this <laughs> makes so much sense. If someone said, make the mirror opposite of what I've been told before, then that would be the stat program. <laughs> As to how we do this, you have to understand that I'm a reading and learning specialist. I started teaching in the late 90s, but by 2005, I was working exclusively with struggling medical students. And that's when I discovered predictable patterns in the ways these students were struggling with learning and test taking. Once I could see these patterns, I was able to build strategies to offset them. And that led me to create StatMed Learning in 2012. And look, we are not interested in patching holes in your current study or test taking systems. And I'm definitely not interested in giving you disconnected tips. But forget that. That's just enough to frustrate you. Instead, we want to tear down your old ways and completely install our StatMed study and test taking systems that are rooted in evidence-based learning strategies that we've customized over the years to suit the needs of our students. Finally, I can identify the problem and once you identify the problem, you can do something about it. And so y'all gave me this lens through which to identify my, my problem. That's the biggest thing I remember after leaving the summer with you and going back, you have the confidence and the tools that you need to be able to take care of the information that's gonna come at you. We do this via three distinct platforms, each with its own end-to-end -end scope and sequence. Number one is the StatMed Study Skills class, which is designed for classroom learners in med school, but can also include vet students, PAs, PharmDs, et cetera, who are repeating, rising, or entering looking for the absolute best ways to study, manage their time, and take tests. In this class was the first time I got a foundation that I could stand on. It's completely opened things up for me, and I just am so much more optimistic. These run approximately 10 days and are offered at specific times per year. They have limited seats, and they will fill up fast. Number two is our one-on-one -on -one boards test-taking workshop, 
offered year round and is designed for medical students, physicians, and those in related fields like veterinarians at the board's level who identify as bad test takers. Confident going in, spent the time using the proper study techniques to be able to do well on it, yep. studying with other people that were doing well, you know, and then they took it as well and, and did way better than I did. Eventually it, it just isn't enough. Focusing entirely on installing our meticulous StatMed test taking blueprint to turn bad test takers into good test takers so they can show what they know on their medical board exams. And then number three is our StatMed boards reboot camp. And this is for anyone really stuck on passing their boards and want to do everything they can to pass on the next attempt. This combines key elements of the study skills class and the full boards workshop. And students can plug these skills into any boards review material of their choice. So that's StatMed Learning in a nutshell. If you identify with anything I'm talking about or otherwise want to learn more, then either explore our website, blog, or YouTube channel to learn more or reach out and schedule an informal, no obligation phone interview with me where I can hear your story, answer your questions, and recommend the best StatMed platforms to suit your needs. If you're frustrated or struggling, hang in there. I hope this was informative and I hope to hear from you soon. Thanks for watching.